Welcome to the podcast. My name is Dr. Noor Gajraj. Let's talk about NAD, the molecule of youth, or a key to healthy aging. Nicotinamide adenine nucleotide, NAD, is a coenzyme central to metabolism. NAD+, plus, the oxidized form, is found in every living cell. It is involved in countless metabolic processes and cellular functions, acting almost like a universal currency for cellular activity. There are two main roles. Role number one, redox reactions and energy. First, NAD is fundamental to redox reactions and energy metabolism. Imagine your cells as tiny power plants. For these power plants to generate energy, they need to transfer electrons efficiently. NAD is a key electron carrier in these oxidation reduction or redox reactions. NAD accepts electrons and a proton to become its reduced form NADH. NADH then delivers these electrons to the electron transport chain within mitochondria. This process drives the synthesis of adenosine triphosphate, ATP, which is the primary energy currency for functions from muscle contraction to brain activity. Crucial metabolic pathways like glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and fatty acid oxidation all rely on the NAD-NADH balance for energy production. Role two, cofactor for NAD-dependent enzymes, non-redox signaling. Beyond its role in energy, NAD also serves as a crucial substrate or cofactor for a variety of enzymes that are vital for cellular signaling and maintaining overall cellular health, independent of energy transfer. These include sirtuins. You might have heard of these as longevity proteins. Sirtuins are a family of seven protein deacetylases and are entirely dependent on NAD. They use NAD to remove chemical tags from various proteins, including histones, which control gene expression, as well as other proteins involved in metabolism, DNA repair, and inflammation. Their activity is directly linked to how much NAD is available, making them significant targets in anti-aging research. Poly ADP ribose polymerases or PARPs. These enzymes also consume NAD to facilitate ADP ribosylation, a modification critical for DNA repair and maintaining the integrity of our genome. CD38 and CD157, these are NAD glycohydrolases that consume NAD and are involved in important cellular signaling, including calcium mobilization and immune regulation. In essence, NAD acts as a central hub, elegantly linking your cellular energy status to vital signaling pathways that regulate critical processes like DNA repair, gene expression, stress response, and immune function. NAD levels naturally decline with age. This decline is not just a passive marker of aging. It's an active contributor to various age-related pathologies and the decline in cellular function observed with aging. This is why strategies to maintain or restore youthful NAD levels have become a significant focus in anti-aging and regenerative medicine. The body synthesizes NAD from several precursor molecules. The most common and efficient ones used in research and supplementation are forms of vitamin B3. Nicotinamide riboside, NR. This is one of the most well-studied and efficient precursors. It is a form of vitamin B3 that can effectively increase NAD levels in cells and tissues, supporting mitochondrial function and activating those crucial sirtuins. There are trace amounts in food like milk. 
nicotinamide mononucleotide, NMN. NMN is another direct precursor serving as an intermediate compound between NR and NAD. Like NR, it's increasingly popular in supplements and found in small amounts in vegetables like broccoli and avocado. Nicotinamide, NAM, also known as niacinamide, is a common form of vitamin B3. While it converts to NAD, high doses can sometimes inhibit sirtuins, making NR and NMN often preferred in anti-aging contexts. Nicotinic acid, this is niacin. It can also be converted to NAD, but high doses are known for causing the niacin flush, which is a redness and itching sensation. Tryptophan, this essential amino acid can also be converted to NAD, though this pathway is generally less efficient compared to the vitamin B3 derived precursors. The most compelling evidence comes from extensive preclinical studies in various model organisms. First, lower organisms. In simple organisms like yeast, worms and fruit flies, boosting NAD levels has repeatedly led to significant increases in both average and maximum lifespan. These studies were crucial in laying the foundation for NAD's role in longevity. NAD augmentation has profoundly improved various health span parameters in mice. This means better quality of life as they age. Mammalian studies, mice. This is where the evidence becomes highly impactful for potential human relevance. Numerous studies in mice have demonstrated that boosting NAD levels can indeed extend lifespan. Some research has shown average increases, even in older mice, equivalent to several human years. More consistently, NAD augmentation has profoundly improved various health span parameters in mice. Let's take a look at these. Improved metabolic health like better glucose tolerance and reduced fatty liver, enhanced mitochondrial function and the creation of new mitochondria, increased muscle endurance and physical performance, reduced inflammation, which is a major driver of age-related diseases, improved cardiovascular function, protection against cognitive decline and neurodegenerative conditions, delayed frailty, meaning they remain active and robust for longer, even improved fertility in aged mice. This observed lifespan and health span extension is firmly supported by a robust understanding of NAD's molecular mechanisms by restoring youthful NAD levels, these interventions enhance sirtuin activity, fueling these crucial longevity proteins, PARP activity, helping to maintain genomic integrity through DNA repair, mitochondrial function, improving how our cellular powerhouses work and become more resilient, autophagy and mitophagy, enhancing the cell's natural recycling processes to clear damaged components. Current human clinical trials are actively focused on and have shown promising results in improving health span parameters. These include measurable increases in NAD levels in blood and various tissues, improvements in metabolic markers like insulin sensitivity and cholesterol levels, reductions in arterial stiffness, enhanced muscle function and endurance in older adults, anti-inflammatory effects. Since NAD primarily resides inside cells, measurements involve cellular samples. 
blood. This is the most accessible method in a clinical setting. While useful for general monitoring, the correlation between blood NAD and levels in specific deep tissues is still an area of active research. However, it's currently the most practical clinical option. Tissue biopsies. For research, direct tissue samples like muscle or skin biopsies offer precise local NAD status, but they are invasive and not for routine clinical use. Cultured cells used in labs to study NAD metabolism under controlled conditions. Brain via magnetic resonance spectrometry, a non-invasive imaging technique used in research to measure NAD in brain regions. In conclusion, NAD is a fundamental coenzyme that orchestrates cellular energy repair and signaling, deeply influencing the aging process. The consistent preclinical evidence, particularly in mammals, showing improvements in both lifespan and a wide array of health span parameters is highly compelling. While human trials are continuing to unveil its benefits for health span, the mechanistic understanding of how NAD impacts fundamental aging processes strongly supports its potential. Thank you for listening. Please consider buying my new book, 100 Pathways to Longevity, and subscribing to this channel. Thank you again.